everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Last time I continued on with, uh, Hell, aka Rusty Bucket Bay, and it hasn't kicked my ass yet. I have one jiggy to go, and I've found, uh, the last four notes in between this epi- or last episode and this one. Um, I did, a uh, I did a round around, uh, the, the ship, and I found a little area right here basically right next to here so yeah that's it all done with rusty bucket bay except one thing <laughs> the engine room the engine room from hell look at it look at it look at it, it even goes down to the depths of hell like a dickhead it doesn't matter if I die now, though, so if I die, so be it. It won't be the first time I've died here, and if I ever play this game, it definitely won't be the last. And... I'll be damned. Surprises happen all the time. Yeah, those Mobo tokens can go fuck themselves. Alright. Right next to an extra life of all things. Just look at that. Oh, I completely found this extra life, too. All right. So this is going to slow the propellers down to a screeching halt. And here we go. We have 65 seconds to get there. Holy shit. This is the smoothest I've ever had it. Holy shit. I'm there. Unbelievable, I can do this with time to spare. Is this gonna be the first time I ever flawlessly go through Rusty Bucket Bay without dying? Oh my god. That's just amazing to me, guys. I, I, I haven't gotten the jiggy yet, but I'm awfully close to it. For like 25 seconds. So... Oh my god. Yes! I did it! I'm in! I'm done with this fucking level! Yes! 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 If ever there was a time for M. Bison, it's now! Oh! It's done! I didn't have any problems at all! For all of you who were hoping to God that I would fuck up somewhere, A, fuck you, and B, ha ha! Oh. I could have gotten that done at the end of the last episode if I knew where the notes were. Rusty Bucket Bay is done. Just for some proof, right there. Oh. Um. Oh, in just 42 minutes. It's the longest level yet, but you know what? It's done. It's done. It's finished. <laughs> okay. We're not done yet. We still have one level. And if you want my honest opinion, I could just reach into it for a couple jiggies and a couple notes, and I wouldn't have to bother actually finishing it. But... What kind of a let's play would it be if I did that? <sighs> Almost done with Grunty's Lair. And... Well, I don't need to do that. What I do need to do is get up here. And the, the rest of this episode, I guess, will be spent doing random crap. Fuck it! You can go the slow way by using eggs to get to where you want to go. Ooh, and we have a new one. Yep, stronger. Hello, Brenty! Favorite pastime is flying radio controlled bats. This poor guy called Dirty Birdie 
was her first and only boyfriend. What? I'm sorry, I skipped it. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a mad vulture as a pet. Okay. But here we are. This is the hub of the final place. The hub of the final world. And remember way back when, near Clanker's Cavern, that orange one, he has a brother. And we're gonna go in! I can't believe this episode is almost over, guys. It's just amazing to me that I actually went through Rusty Bucket Bay without any difficulties. Of course, by Let's Player logic, uh, that means that the final level is going to be the worst of it. But before I even bother with the final level, I've been putting this off long enough. Back to Treasure Trove Cove with ye. Do you guys remember this fucking level? I do. I do. I do. I do. It's been a long time since we've been here. It feels just like yesterday. Except it wasn't. Again, I'm going to have to ask you guys to ignore Shark Food Isle. There's nothing on it. Literally nothing. Thank you, Leaky. And I know a couple of people have mentioned in comments, uh, yes, this game has other cheats besides the ones Cheeto gives you, but if you use them, uh, not discount, not counting the stop and swap things, uh, Cheeto, well, if you use them, uh, in excess, like, three, Grunty's gonna erase your game. You don't want that, do you? B. L. Another G, maybe? Same G. Well, I clicked it. What? Eggs. I clicked the egg. Oh, for God's sake. Fine. Red feathers. Where, seriously, what? Oh, it's, it's trying to do gold feathers now. Oh, fuck off. Glitchy piece of shit. Gold... F -f 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 and then the E, R, and S are right next to each other. Twenty gold feathers you get. Now, let's try... Bruises, you'll still get plenty. Okay, cool. Wait, what? It's not gonna let me get use the blue eggs cheat anymore? What the fuck? Ed. Oh my god. What the hell is going on? Feathers. I guess I don't need the eggs, but, I mean, they'd help. Bear and bird get 100 red feathers. All my feathers, it makes me sick. And she's not lying. BL. Uh, try from the start again. U. E. 
What the hell? G. S. Se what the hell? Seriously! Explain that to me! It wasn't working, and then it decided to go to the gold feathers one. Anyways! That's all. For Cheeto. And yeah, I mean. Th there is, of course, the stop and swap cheats, which don't. Which I can't even demonstrate for you guys, because I. Once you do stop and swap on one cartridge. You can never do it again. You can erase all the games associated with it. It doesn't matter. You can never do stop and swap again. So I'm not even going to bother explaining it. Plenty of Let's Players have in the past. Um, and it, it's not even a function that does anything. It was designed to do something. It was designed to connect to Banjo-Tooie by keeping the, the system on, pulling out the cartridge, and then putting in Banjo-Tooie. Yeah, that sounds like an innovative idea. Damn it! I have to come back. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt at which school? Cauldron Butt. Sweaty Gorilla Feet is her favorite smell? Ah! Favorite color is Dung Brown. Good lord. And I think that's all of the grunty facts. I think. Anyways, the puzzle switch for the final world, I forgot, uh, is actually in the hub for its area. Meaning you don't even know anything about this place until you actually get to it. Uh, I mean, you know that there's... Uh, of course there's a puzzle there, so of course there's something there. But it doesn't tell you until you actually get there how to access said puzzle. Oh, I guess I didn't need that gold feather. 20 is certainly a much better number than 10. Because those are so useful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is your name Big Butt? I think it is. And I'll open this door up, because I can, but I'm not going to do anything with it. Alright. Pretty sounding area. Pretty itself, I'd say. And the only puzzle switch in the game. And a nice shot of that mumbo token that I'm going to take. Thank you, game. There we go. It takes me a little while to actually see the little lip of the cavern. But this is a convenient little spot for you guys to go back and input those treasure trove codes in case you haven't done so already because you do come back right next to it but that being said it's finally time for the final world of the game and what a world it is so big it's four worlds in one what could you mean by that well for all two of you who are asking that Click, clock, wood. Such a beautiful place. And that's it. That's the last world in the game unlocked. Now, I could completely skip it. I think I could. Um, I wouldn't 100% anything. I'm not even sure if the last note door in the game would let me through. But, I mean, it's gotten to the point where if, if all you want to do is beat the game, if you've done everything that I've done, all the notes, all the jiggies that, so far, literally you would not only... you'd have to get like three, four jiggies, something like that. But what fun is that? Getting the easiest ones. And I forgot the mumbo token. I forgot the... Oh, screw it, I don't care. I'll find plenty in here. 
But I'm not going to even do it now. I'm going to stop for the night by parking my ass right in front of Click Clock Wood and bidding all of you adieu. Next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, the final world of the game, Click Clock Wood. Have a wondrous day, everybody. Thank God Rusty Bucket Bay is over with, and thank God it didn't screw me up the ass. Have a good day, everybody. Mm -hmm.